Welcome to this tutorial on working with views in the Expertech Smart Client. In this tutorial, we will have a look at how to create and modify views. Depending on your surveillance system, a view can contain video from up to 100 cameras. In Expertech Smart Client, views provide a logical grouping of your cameras to give you optimal presentation of your recorded video. Alongside your video, views can also contain other content such as web pages, images, for example maps, or data from other applications such as receipts from a cash register. Your Expertech Smart Client can handle an unlimited number of views, allowing you to switch between video from different groups of cameras. To help you maintain an overview, all views are placed in folders called groups. A group can contain any number of views and if required subgroups. You can have private views or views shared with other users. Your user settings, including information about your views, are stored centrally on the surveillance system server, so you can use your views on other computers. To create a view, you must first have a group to add it to. You can create a new view in an existing group or create a new group for the view. Click Setup to enter Setup mode and in the Views pane, either select an existing group or click Create New Group. In the group, click Create New View. Select a layout for your new view. Layouts are grouped according to their height-width relationship and according to regular layout or portrait layout. Name your view. Now you are ready to add content to the view. In the Overview pane, expand the server to view a list of available cameras. Select a camera and drag it to the position in the view. If you want to add multiple cameras to a view, for example all cameras from a camera folder, simply drag the folder to the view. This automatically adds all the folder's cameras in the view from the selected position onwards. You can also add other content, simply drag an HTML page, image file or other content in the same way. In the Properties pane, you can specify how the camera properties are displayed in the view, such as display settings and sound on motion detection. You can do this for individual cameras, or you can apply your settings to all the cameras in the view. Once you are finished, click Setup to exit Setup mode. You can maximize a particular position in a view by double-clicking it. Double-click again to go back to normal viewing. Now that you have created a view, you can temporarily change the cameras in your view while you are in live or playback mode. You can send a camera from a position to another position in an open view. This includes any views in floating windows or secondary displays. On the camera toolbar, click More, Send Camera. Select the view and then select the relevant position. You can temporarily change the cameras displayed in a view. Select the position in the view, and then in the Cameras pane, drag another camera into the position. Or swap two cameras in a view by clicking the title bar of a camera and dragging it to a different position. The camera in that position exchanges places with the one you swap it with. The changes you have made are only temporary, and the view will restore to its original layout when you navigate away from it. Click the Restore button on the Workspace toolbar to restore your original view. If you want to make any of your changes permanent, you must do this in Setup mode. You can send any view to a primary display as a full screen window on your main monitor, a secondary display as a full screen window on additional monitors, or a floating window with live or playback tabs that you can resize to suit your needs. In the Views pane, right-click the relevant view. Click Send View To and then select where you want your view to display. The primary and secondary display shows the window in full screen with the tabs and controls hidden. To display the title bar and get access to the Close button, move your mouse to the top of the view. You can toggle between displaying the windows as full screen with no tabs and as a smaller floating window with tabs by clicking the full screen icon. We hope you have found this video tutorial on working with views helpful. For more video tutorials, click the help button in the top right corner.